Welcome back everybody to basically what is my bad decision blog, but uh, that was a good rhyme to it unfortunately. We got us another car. We got us another project car and this one is a project. It's quite a project, but guess what? It's a Beamer and I got a good deal on it. I don't think I got a good enough deal on it upon further inspection, but guess what fellas? Oh, look at that steering wheel. Damn. No I drive, which sucks, but steering wheel. M Sport seats. Oh, I'm very excited. So here she is. This is my beautiful new 2007 BMW 335. Hi. She is pristine, no damages. Single owner, single headlight. So I bet it's been a collision. And she is just in the best shape. I really got a good deal on this one. It's got a few dings. Stuff doesn't line up. And I paid a low, low price of a ton of money for this thing. Now it seemed like a good deal. And then I started noticing some things such as, I don't know, that's a plastic screw. That's a wildly different metal screw. And that's where it should be mounted. So that's how they put the plate in. It's concerning. 335i though, so she's twin turbo. The only nice part is the interior. Other than that, it's pretty terrible. Also, that window's not tinted, so wonder what happened there. So we drove the car here, and now it's on jack stands, but uh, she's uh, she's been doing a little bit of leaking. So that's not ideal. So that's a thing. A little out of breath, so I just had to do a bit of work on her and drop her down and uh, contain the leakage, which Caught us all by surprise. All right guys, so if you're following me, you should know I bought that car about four or five months ago for the low, low price of $4,000 still. That window's not tinted. You should watch the first video I have of this car on explaining why I have one window that's not tinted. It's hilarious. So if you guys are following me, you should know that the reason I even got that car is I saw a B is for build video probably on a, where they had a 335i for an apocalypse build and that kind of fell apart, but I was never in a Euro car, so now I own two of them at once. Riddle me that one. But basically, it opened my eyes to the tunability on one of these 335s and his was an auto, and uh, I thought, I guess we could try it. Let's see what happens, I don't know. But I didn't want to spend, at the time, market value for a 335, an E90 is like, Ten to fifteen thousand dollars here, uh, an automatic rear wheel drive. So, not even the most desirable one. Didn't want to drop that much money on a car I've never driven. I'm an LS guy. Everything I own's LS. It's all V8s. I got an old Jeeps. Like, never had a Euro. I, I dipped into Civics. Now we have another Honda. Bad decisions all around. So, I decided to get a 328 just to see if I like the platform, and I loved it a lot. So I decided at that moment. I knew one day I wanted to own a 335i. So guess what? I went to go get parts for the 328. So the 328 had some church pew seats and I put in some M, M Sport seats and you should also check that video out. Basically the M Sport seats hug your under thighs, squeeze you tightly, make you feel loved, stuff like that, bolsters and everything. The factory seats are just church pews, they're just flat, flat, and then a little bit of huggy, but not enough huggy. No under thigh support. Most importantly, I went to pick them up. I got them for two to three hundred dollars for those seats, a pair of seats, front seats. Uh, put them in the 328. While I was there, they mentioned, hey, do you want a sport steering wheel as well? And I went, I do want to be cool. How much is that? And this is an M Sport steering wheel. It's got the paddle shifters. It's got the airbag that's popped out a little bit. Just overall more aesthetically pleasing. This one. Needs needs a courtesy wipe, that's for sure, but the other ones are pretty ugly, just like flat looking plain, no paddle shifters and just boring looking steering wheel. And I told these fine gentlemen, well, 
want, no, I don't want to spend a thousand dollars on the 328 because then I'm never going to want to get rid of it. I love the car. I love the color. I love how it looks. I love everything I've done to it. And if it has the sports steering wheel, sports seats, I may as well just slam it and drive that, but it's not quick. It's got a 230 horsepower and potential for basically 230 horsepower. I didn't want to waste all that money on that car. And I said, Hey, you know, I'll wait for 335i because that's what I want. And he went, Oh, we have one for sale. And I was like, shit, I want one real bad. So they walked me over about three blocks over and I guess he had a second shop. These are BMW specialists. Um, I'm not going to name them or anything, but kind of wouldn't recommend going there. That's for sure. So I went up and I looked at it and it looked really clean. Like obviously it had the dents on the back and they said, Hey, we're asking 6,500 bucks for it. It's a 335. Uh, it wasn't theirs. It was a customer of theirs, which is a red flag. And when I see red flags, I end up buying usually whatever it is. So I was like, cool, this seems sketchy and greasy in every way. Continue. You have my full attention. So they walked around and they had the key for it. The key fob worked great, even though it looks trash. And now... Did my key fob just work? Wow, that was such an emotional roller coaster. What the? F <laughs> so anyway, the key fob worked great. Buddy was even showing it off how you hold the buttons and the windows would roll down and all that stuff. Just, you know, having a great time. I took it, got in the car for a test drive. It had, oh boy, was it bad. It was making gnarly noises and everything. It was dirty as hell. Pretty much garbage in every way. So I drove around the block, didn't even hit boost because it hadn't run for clearly probably months. It barely started. Drove back. Like I said, I literally drove it three minutes maybe. I went around two industrial blocks, came back, parked it. I was with my girlfriend. We She drove to pick up seats for that car. I came back and I was like, hey, 6,500, hey? And he's like, yeah, or best offer. It needs some work and the customer didn't want to finish it or whatever. So now she wants to sell it. And I was like, cool. What kind of work? And he went, front suspension's totally blown, oil pan leaks, and rear brakes are... Huh? Suddenly this car doesn't seem like a good purchase. <laughs> so anyway, um, yeah, didn't even hesitate. Listed off these three things and I went, cool. How bad's an oil pan gasket? It's a damn good thing it's rear wheel drive. How bad could that be? So I pretty much just bought it. Didn't even look under the car. I opened the hood just to make sure it's a 335 and they didn't just put badges on because like I said, I didn't even hit boost. So I ended up with a 335 <laughs> On the way home, I stopped at my work, pulled over to the shop and had to like put insurance on and all that. And we sat there for 10 minutes with the car idling. And then we backed up to leave and it just hemorrhaged out 12 gallons of oil, no coolant at the time. That's important, no coolant at the time. Don't know why. That was concerning, but I said it's probably an oil pan gasket, whatever. So drove it home, found out an oil pan gasket. Kind of sucks to do on one of these. But anyway, that's how I got a Beamer. I went to buy seats for my other Beamer and bought another Beamer. So did I have money for it? Absolutely not. Can my heart handle the stresses of two BMWs? Absolutely not. Is this a very reliable, daily driver friendly, fuel efficient, happy BMW for a first time BMW owner? It's one of the most unreliable BMWs with one of the most unreliable engines you can get. Checks all the boxes I need. <laughs> Other than that, fellas, got the sport package. So sport seats, sport steering wheel, sport suspension, which is like he said, blown out. It's like driving a boat, I'm not even joking. Right off the bat, it's got a cracked window. The rear window's not tinted. And I found broken glass on the seat. The interior's in actually really good shape. Thank God, because without that, I probably still would have bought it, honestly. But the outside's real not great. Other than the seats and the steering wheel, it is identical to the other BMW. It also has the black and gray interior and now the sports seats. So, 
Yeah, that's a thing. Forgot to mention, so after that test drive, I used a key fob to go unlock the car and it just died. Didn't work, hasn't worked since, except for just then. And then it set off the alarm, so that's pretty neat. So yeah, anyway guys, you ready? You ready for this? God, I hope it starts. Ooh. Ooh, that's some unfriendly noises. Oh, it went away, that's good. All right, good enough. Oh my God, both headlights are working. What? That checks out. Not the worst, I would say. Oh, also wicked bulge in the tire. I don't know if you can see that, that's concerning. I'm not gonna hang out there too long. Anyway guys, so this thing's got like 160,000, 174,000 kilometers. Interior, great shape like brand new. Exterior, not great at all. Engine, not ideal, honestly. But like I said, these things go for like 10 to $15,000. It's a red flag when they were asking 65 and I went up and I said, how about 5,000 Canadian pesos? Keep in mind, that's like 2,000 US dollars. And they said, can you do 55? And I went, absolutely not. This thing's a turd. And if they said no, then I would have gone my own way with just my seats and I would have been fine. So I wasn't sold on the car. And they said yes. So put up zero fight to drop at $1,500. So I can't wait to see what I find. But anyway guys, that's it. That's my new BMW. So I can't wait to see what we're gonna do. Uh, I'm not looking for a thousand horsepower out of this thing. They actually are pretty potent and you can make like 700 horsepower, I believe. So uh, we're not looking to party that much. It makes 305 or 310, 300 horsepower, 300 Turkas stock. So uh, we wanna up that a bit. Cause like I said, these things have a bit of potential. So I wanna make it a fun car, unfortunately. That one is not a forever car anymore. So once this one is running and capable, we will be selling that BMW, potentially selling other cars, and then I have plans for future project cars yet again. So this is like the 12th car we've bought this year. Uh, it's like the 12th introduction I've done. I'm excited, so I can't wait to pour all my money into this car for no reason, like every other car I own. So. So if you guys love watching me spend all my money in the worst ways possible, <laughs> subscribe. <laughs> uh, keep your eyes out because we have a ton of videos coming on this. It needs a lot of work. It needs body work, mechanical. I feel like I've said this to every car I've bought. <laughs> it needs a lot of work, but we're going to make it look good. We're going to make it quick. I love those wheels. I actually love the wheels that are on this car already too, so I don't know what I'm going to do. But anyway, guys, I'll catch you in the next one. Uh, we got to tear it down. We gotta do the oil pan. We gotta rebuild it. We gotta make it look good. We gotta make it fast. Yeah, there's maintenance in there somewhere. That's probably the rebuild part. Yeah, no records or anything on this car. So that's perfect way to buy a 15 year old, super unreliable BMW. So I'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching. <laughs> oh man. Can't do nothing.